cut me loose. Oh, come on, you got your map. You'll be... Howdy, viewers. Brad Pryor, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. As I progress toward 100%, one of the things you need to do is the Explorer Challenge. And that involves finding treasure maps and treasure. I already posted several videos involving treasure maps, and I will post them in the description below. This last one is the high stakes treasure map. And you get it by basically tackling and mugging a treasure hunter. And when you do that, you get the high stakes treasure map. And I'm going to show you how to find it because the final treasure is three gold bars. And you should be able to complete the Explorer Challenge. So let's get on with this high stakes treasure map. You'll usually come upon a treasure hunter looking for something, and all you gotta do is throw a rope and subdue him. Look what we got here. your map you'll be rich from it enough for a, a whole night with your favorite style think about it now let me go let me go hey you ain't gonna leave me like this The map shows a location which is Cumberland Falls, just outside of Valentine. Now I'm getting to the map here, and I'm going to the wrong maps. Yeah, these aren't it. And yeah, none of them are the correct map. I don't know why I looked at these maps, sketch map. I've already done them. Yeah. Uh, it's newspapers, notes, photographs, newspapers, books, invitations, journal, blah, 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 letters, treasure maps. Here we go. High stakes treasure map one. And like I said, it indicates a falls. And it's Cumberland Falls on the map. I'll show you here as soon as we get to this. And it's not here. It is actually right sort of outside of Valentine. And right here, Cumberland Falls. I'm going to put a location waypoint right there. And I'm going to ride there, but then you got to get down to the falls. And so I'm going to fast forward the ride to where the waypoint is. Once I got to the waypoint, I had to get down to the river, down by the river, actually. And so there's these little sloping areas that you can kind of work your way down, ride your way down. I probably should have approached from the opposite side of the river. This is far more rocky and hard to get, and things happen. Good thing Arthur knows how to swim, and ironically, the best way to get to the falls is to go to the opposite side of the river where the entrance is, and then swim across the river to the entrance.
No entrance on the opposite side, so just flop into the water, face plant like I just did, and you have to swim across the river to this side in order to get to the uh, area in order to get up to the falls, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, if you've already done the other treasure hunting maps, this one will unlock the, or finish the Explorer 8 and unlock the Explorer 9. Now, this location shows that the treasure map is in Barrow Pond or Barrow Lake. I'll show you the location but here is where it is located, Cumberland Falls, under the falls there. This is where this treasure map is located. The next one I will show you once I get to the location. Now we got to get Arthur out from under the falls and back to his horse. I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to cut to where Arthur arrives at Barrow Pond and gets the second treasure map. Now that Arthur has arrived at Barrow Lagoon, I keep calling it Pond or Lake, it's Barrow Lagoon. You come down, slide down, and walk over to the island here, this little island area. And as you can see, it's icy, but you can, you know, you see the island, there's a bridge. I'm going to run over, and right there is kind of the bridge island area, kind of misty, foggy, blowing snow. But yeah, there's a fallen log that's a bridge from one point to the island. And you want to get up onto this area, and you climb up, and you want to climb onto the log. And the map is located in a hole in the log. Now this completes Explorer Challenge number 9, and finding this map unlocks number 10. And this is actually a familiar location, and it's very tricky, but I'll show you the location of this map on the game map. And it's right here at Barrow Lagoon. Arthur is standing between the land and the island because there's a bridge to it, and right here is the high stakes map number two. So I'm going to cut to where Arthur arrives at the next location. It's actually a very familiar location if you hunt the dinosaur bones and the rock carvings. This is actually tricky to get to and once you get to it I'll show you a real quick hack on how to get back to safe land. Again I'm going to show you uh, as Arthur arrives. 
the main treasure is in an area that you should be familiar with if you've explored and again found a dinosaur bone and a rock carving. What you do is you go through this split where you would go for the rock carving and you walk down the split but instead of going down to the rock carving you go up in order to get to the treasure map and I'm going to show you how to do that and then kind of explain how you got to go get to the upper area. Okay, I just went down to the rock carving area, and you can see that. That's the location. Now you come back up, and you notice there is an incline. You try and walk up it, you're not going to make it. You're just going to slide back down. you got to sort of crouch and walk up the incline, and it will get you. Well, why am I running away here? Yeah. Okay, again, why am I doing stupid stuff? There is no other way. Let's get back, let's crouch and walk our way up the incline. That's what you gotta do is crouch and walk your way up the incline. After you crouch and get up here, you come to this area of loose rocks. Yeah, you could potentially die. Just jump, land, now stop. And one of the things you're going to have to do, you see there, try and get near the cliff wall, and you're going to have to drop down to that next uh, plateau. And it's going to be a little painful. Now that you're on the plateau, you got to sort of crouch walk your way to where the treasure is. And it will tell you to search. There you go. Search. And you can search for the treasure. Explorer challenge complete and three gold bars. It's on this like hill mountain between Bacchus Bridge and Fort Wallace. There's a rock carving and a dinosaur bone. Yeah, this place is just loaded with all kinds of things. But yeah, Fort Wallace and Bacchus Bridge, Bacchus Station. This area right here. And now that you're on a cliff, how are you going to get off? Real simple. I'm going to check my progress on challenges. And I've completed the Explorer Challenge. All complete. Plus, I've gone toward 100%. Now, how do you get off of this cliff? I'll show you. It's a real simple hack. You don't jump down. You don't walk around. You just go to your um, wheel here, and you go to items, and you go camping. And it magically teleports you to a safe place because it's assumed that you did all the work to get out of the way and get back to uh, solid ground, shall I say. And that's how you do the high-stakes treasure map. If you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave comments. If you like this type of video, 
hit the subscribe button and bell icon in order to stay informed. I post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.